today's Nanad gathering at the United Nations marks the exponential growth in the awareness of yoga. We have here more than a thousand enthusiasts from various countries. We are witnessing perhaps the largest congregation for celebrating the benefits of yoga at the United Nations. It comes from the sutras of Patanjali. It says the yoga is the cessation of the fluctuations of the mind. योग ने पूरे विश्व को जोड़ दिया है सिर्फ अंतरराष्ट्रीय योगा दिवस नहीं लेकिन योग जन चेतना जगाने के लिए जन मन को स्वस्थ बनाने के लिए एक आंदोलन बने और आप उस आंदोलन के योगी बने यही मेरी आप सबको बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं सेलिब्रेट द इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ योगा This is to a relatively new observance on the United Nations calendar, but it is already one of the most popular. In a sense, every day is Yoga Day. Namaste. Yoga practice is the embodiment of that old age saying that a healthy body is a healthy mind. So I think it's very auspicious for the United Nations that this is the first time we have returned as a community to the North Lawn and reclaimed it for the people. On this day of the year, on the summer solstice, because yoga is that which brings light to our life. Yoga is that which brings life to our life. And yoga is union. And let us just take two minutes to close our eyes together. And as you exhale, sink deeper and deeper into that beautiful core of the self, that place of oneness of wholeness, of completeness. Well, one of my favorite shortcuts is called Neti Neti, which is a Sanskrit word meaning not this, not this. So essentially through deduction, by knowing what you are not, you discover what you are. I'll give you an example. I have a body. I am not this body. Okay, we keep going. I am not this mind. What is the mind? As Papaji would say, a bundle of thoughts. What is it that observes the thoughts? I am not this mind. I am not these thoughts. So what's left? Silence. And through the silence, you realize what Nisargadatta Maharaj said, which is, having never left the house, you have been searching for the way home. You realize what Rumi said, which is knocking on the door all my life. It opens. I had been knocking from the inside. Somebody answered this question, how far is the journey from here to here? You're already that. Feel your connection to the earth. Through your hands, through your feet, through your breath. We live in a culture which has told us that the earth belongs to us, but yoga tells us that we belong to the earth. Be a yogi who dares to care about the happiness and well-being and freedom for all beings. 
are all beings without exception. The time is now for all of us to wake up and to participate in social change by engaging with compassion and with love. We cannot wait for our leaders. We must be those leaders. We must change the systems by engaging the systems. We can't meet hate with hate. We must he meet hate with love and fear with compassion. And when we do, if we can, peace isn't possible. It's inevitable. Inhale, arms reach as you honor the Father. Exhale, fold all the way forward as you bow to the Great Mother. Inhale, look forward towards our children. Exhale, step back, top of a push-up, and either put your knees down or lower Chaturanga Dandasana as you connect with the earth. Inhale, either cobra or upward dog, and you open your heart to the heavens Exhale, downward dog, and turn in towards your true self and breathe. Moksha. opportunity we have of connecting and uniting people through yoga, that we will not only bring slimmer waistlines and trimmer thighs and health in the body, but that we will use our opportunity as yoga leaders to bring about health and unity and oneness in our communities, in our country, and in our world. And especially to our Mother Earth and our Mother Nature. 
Om Shalom Salam Amen. 